So with the boys out of town and having Ruby, new car, sort of wanting to go someplace, uh, I was sitting here talking with Donnie about where we might go for a little trip. And, um, you know, you can always count on me to be the ringleader of the family and not necessarily just want to sit on the couch. I can't help it. That's just the way I am. So, um, I was looking at some destinations toward the coast and some destinations towards the mountains. And the mountains is, it's really too far for a day trip. We, we'd need to spend the night. But there are quite a few places over toward the coast where we could go drive over and do something and come home and it would be it'd be a long day trip but it'd still be a day trip so i came up with um tryon place which is the first state capital of north carolina governor tryon it's uh, in new Bern, north carolina and they have um uh, uh 14 acres of gardens they have the large governor's mansion they have all these outbuildings there's um I guess some shopping tours there's state artifacts and galleries so it should be a good um something interesting especially for adults I'm not sure the boys would have been thrilled about this destination so the first thing I did was um look at the superchargers between Raleigh which is near where we are and New Bern which is our destination for the Tryon place and as I knew already there aren't any superchargers down uh, US Highway 70 um, but there are a couple destination chargers in New Bern one's at a bread and breakfast and that's close to guests and then one is at a Harris Teeter uh, shopping center so um, that's not perfect case scenario but that's but that's a workable scenario uh, the problem with this supercharger or excuse me this destination charger down here is it's seven miles south and in the wrong direction of where we'll be um, going to visit and it's at basically at Harris Teeter there's not a good there's lots of good eating up where we are but there's a just a pizza hut down near the Harris Teeter so uh, we'd like to plan to charge while we eat right at dinner that's what a lot of people do but that's not looking too good for for this location so Donnie are you ready to talk about the um, maps and um, what you what we think we're gonna do right so um, in a perfect world uh, the round trip mileage from our home to uh, New Bern to the Tryon um, Palace Palace uh, and then actually on to the destination charger, which is slight, slightly south. Now this is destination charger. Uh, it's a high powered wall connector, so it's probably um, at least 50 amp. It could be as much as 80, but uh, it doesn't really say uh, uh, that Marianne spoke about. There's really nothing down here uh, at this 603 West Truman Road. There's a shopping center down there. There's just no, you know, Marianne, she doesn't want to eat pizza while the car charges, not after it's supposed to be a special day. So we decided against that. So basically, uh, we have a range of 295 miles. Uh, that's theoretical. Um, but uh, practically, I, I don't think our mileage is anything over about 240 miles. So 251 miles, uh, uh, this trip would be... Uh, round trip, right? The round trip go down there to New Bern and back without stopping anywhere to charge would be uh, stressful. I mean, we would definitely... Right, that's 10 or 15 miles over what we think are and what the real range would be. Right, anything over about 230 miles, I would start kind of be concerned. If it was 230 miles, I would say, hey, let's do it. Um, we'll just maybe uh, drive slower on parts of it. But uh, this is enough over that it's just doesn't want to do with it so we decided to do a, another uh, trip uh, take another route which is basically go to down come home we'd go down the normal route but to come home we'd alter our route back right so it ends up being 267 miles round trip taking this extra little jog down to the supercharger in Warsaw and then back up so it's 200 miles from our home to Tryon Palace to the supercharger. So 200 miles, we can drive that uh, any way we want. We can drive fast, we can drive slow, we can run the air conditioner. 
200 miles is not an issue. So we will have plenty of range to go from our home uh, to our sightseeing uh, place and then get back to Warsaw to the supercharger. And it's basically 60 something miles from Warsaw to home. So uh, once we get to the supercharger, we probably will be pretty low on range, like maybe 20%, uh, something like that, maybe 40 miles left in the, uh, in the car. So at, at that point, uh, though, all we have to do is charge long enough to get back up to, let's say, 100 miles. Uh, and then we can leave to go home. So at that, um, the rate I would expect is probably only have to be at the supercharger maybe for 15, 20 minutes at the most. I'm literally, by the time we uh, use the facilities and uh, get back to the car, we could probably go. But, and then when we get home, we'll be pretty low, but then we can recharge again once we get home. Right, so that gives us options of either um, eating down there near Tryon Palace at some seafood place, because that's right on the riverfront there in New Bern, or if we decide not to do that, we love Smithfields, and Smithfields is right across the street from the Supercharger in Warsaw, so we can always get uh, North Carolina barbecue and fried chicken, and that's always a good that's always a good dinner too. So it gives us options. Yeah. So I'm happy about options. Another slight advantage in this particular case, since um, we won't come be going coming back the exact route that we're coming, then you know we'll see a little bit more of North Carolina. The V. A little bit of this, uh, certainly the part from Kinston to Warsaw. We've never been on this. Right, I've been on um, I've never 258 been. up to Scotland Neck, like up this way. But I've not ever been on 258 from Kin between Kinston and Warsaw. That would be a stretch of road I don't believe we've ever driven on before. And 258 going north is really pretty. So I'm just going to hope that that stretch of 258 is also uh, interesting. And the other part is the drive home on I-40. Likely, this could be after dark. And uh, so instead of being on these uh, roads that we're not familiar with, this is the nice interstate highway. We're familiar with this road. We've drove it dozens of times. It's nothing new, but again, it's going to be dark. So, you know, having that uh, as the last leg of the trip is, is probably uh, another advantage. Uh, 70, most of this 70... Um, is divided highway but it's not controlled access uh, it's just a four-lane road um, parts of it are controlled access but most of it uh, you know we're not going to be familiar with and uh, coming back at night um, you know, we're gonna be tired uh, I can use autopilot over here on the interstate no problem so it, it looks like that the the 16 miles uh, out of the way to go to Warsaw supercharger is really uh, not not going to be that big of an, an issue. Uh, it's basically this trip in a gasoline car. We wouldn't be worrying about it. We'd probably go on a single tank of gas. Uh, so uh, it would probably uh, be 30 minutes uh, faster in a gas car would be my prediction because we're going to have to go 16 miles out further and spend 15 to 20 minutes at the supercharger. So uh, between the two, let's say, uh, no more than 45 minutes longer in the electric car. And I just to, to say before somebody asks, is, yeah, sure, we could go this way over to Tryon Palace and supercharge on the way, uh, possibly. But, you know, I'm kind of gung-ho to get there and do our stuff, and I'm much more content at the end of the day to spend the extra 15, 20 minutes at the supercharger to charge than I would be in the morning where I'd be twiddling my fingers, come on, let's go, let's get there and start taking pictures and seeing stuff. So um, I think uh, that's also uh, an option, but not one I really consider because I want to, you know, get up there, get down there and enjoy our day. And then after they close at 5 p.m., so we, you know, go eat and we spend time supercharging, but that didn't take out of our um, time we had to enjoy whatever sites there are to see down there, you know, uh, as a photographer, <laughs> I can certainly get lost uh, taking pictures and enjoying myself down there. So I want a maximum amount of time. Yep. And we'll uh, keep you posted. The current plan is Monday. So uh, we'll certainly be doing a, a report on how it goes for us then. Right. So 
when we started planning this trip just to add my first question to Donnie was so how do I look at like the supercharger network how do I do this from my Chromebook here on the couch I don't want to go hop in the car right this minute and plug this stuff in and be figuring it out from the car and I guess I would say that while we were able to use the Tesla supercharger map and Google Maps to help us figure it out it probably is easier in the car and I might would like to see an app where the car where the app knows my battery capacity knows you know that I drive an X and Google Maps and I can do it maybe a little more easily from from the couch um, maybe there's something out there I don't know we looked at uh, Tesla Roddy and um, Tesla.com supercharger map and like I said, we were able to do it, but not it's not quite the same as what we would be able to do if we were sitting in the car. Um, right, and uh, we did use PlugShare. Mm. I did look at PlugShare, um, and um, it showed that there, in the New Bern area, there were like five chargers. Um, it showed basically the three destination chargers uh, Tesla destination chargers, which are two are at a both two of them are at bed and breakfasts, which you for guest only. A third one is at the Harris Teeter, which would have been open and available, which is one we were thinking about using. And then the other chargers were um, one was at a Nissan uh, dealership, which is during business hours. Uh, a for, uh, a fifth one was uh, at a Marriott hotel, but it was a 120 amp, 120 volt charger, so it would have taken it all day. What I'm trying to say is, if you're staying, if we were staying at at in New Bern, if we were taking a trip to New Bern, we would stay at a we would stay at one of those bed and breakfasts, and we would have plugged into the destination charger. That's what we would have done. Um, we might have stayed at the Marriott because overnight. Uh, even on a 120 volt charger at four miles per hour, you know, figure you're there 10, 10 hours, that's 40, 40 miles of additional range, which again get, would get it up uh, to our charge back up to the point where um, we wouldn't have any range anxiety. As I said, anything over about 225 miles. Um, uh, we'd have to change our driving style. In other words, we could go in any destination and back 225 miles. I believe in any weather with the air conditioner full blast, driving you know 70 miles, 75 miles an hour as fast as we want at 225 miles any way we want to do it. If we want to go more than 225 miles, we would have to start paying attention to our speed, maybe only drive 60. Uh, we might have to uh, uh, go into range mode, which reduces the air conditioning, uh, things like that. We would start have to reduce it down, and I'm sure that you know uh, it's possible to get 295 miles range out of an X, but I believe that we'd have to be driving like 45 miles an hour. It's just not practical. That's not the way we drive. So, uh, as I said, anything 225 miles, I feel is our you know normal drive it any way you want don't don't think about it type range and anything over 225 miles you need to think a little bit and just to add to you know I did go to the Tryon Palace website and look to see if they had a destination charger I also um, tried to give them a call M maybe I did that at lunchtime um, they they weren't answering so I sent them an email and said hey just to confirm do you guys have a, a electronic car charger and oh by the way since you say on your website that the typical visit is a four hour or half day visit um, you're a really good candidate for a level two charger so that right. um, people can show up and charge while they're there. Right. Would you please, if you don't have any capacity now, which I don't think they do or they'd publicize it on the website, would you consider adding one? Um, so who knows, maybe in the future that would happen. I'm sure that's going to be happening at more and more places. Um, so anyway.